ladies and gentlemen, when doing a problem like this, basically uh, what, the what we're going to be doing is we're going to be practicing solving by a zero prior problem. This is basically to um, help prepare you guys for next chapter in reality. But basically, all that the zero product property is stating is if you have two numbers, imaginary numbers, A and B, not imaginary numbers, but two variables we don't know the values to. But if, they, if the product of them is equal to 0, then we know that one of them has to be 0. Or both of them could be 0. So we use or. So we say A is equal to 0 or B is equal to 0. One of them has to be 0. Now, it doesn't matter if it's two values or even if it's like two expressions. x minus A times x plus B equals 0. Even if you had this, we know that one of these, since there's the product of those two expressions, those expressions, one of them has to, equal, has to be equal to 0. So we need to find the values for a and b that are going to make them 0. So we'd say x minus a equals 0, or x plus b equals 0. And if we are solving for x, which will make them 0, then we could just solve for x. So we'd say x is equal to a or x is equal to negative b. So in this case, you guys can see we have the product of a monomial times a binomial. So therefore, if I know that the product is equal to 0, I basically just set the product of each of those expressions equal to 0. And then you basically just go ahead and solve. Um, to undo a fraction, you would multiply by the reciprocal. Really doesn't matter that much because it's equal to 0. But still, you should remember how to get rid of a fraction. However, any so the reciprocal, 4 over 1 times 1 fourth is just going to go to 1. So therefore, you're left with x. And then anything times 0 is just going to be 0. And then over here, I'm going to add the 16 to both sides. Then I have 2x is equal to 16. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 8. Therefore, when the values are 8 or when the values are 0, that makes this product equal to 0. Does that make sense? So how do you write the answer? Then? That would be your two answers. Actually, let me give you another shot. This is what I'd like you guys to write in. So you could write in x equals 8 or x equals 0. Or you guys can write a solution set 0, 8. Basically, the solution set is going to be a set, a grouping, of what the solutions are. So actually, why don't we practice, because you guys might see this in your test, 